What a cool way to start the morning. I haven't seen a I haven't seen a freaking hot air balloon in a long time. Used to have people flying hot air balloons out here all the time. And uh, now they don't do it anymore. I don't know what the deal is. They must have like changed the laws or something. Yeah, right underneath them, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, so anyway, what's up guys? Good morning. Got Dave here. And uh, this is uh, like the, the main point of this mission this morning right here is I heard that Rock and Roll Pizza has gone out of business. And so I'm gonna go down there and see what's going on. Like, I tried calling the other day and it, it was just like a, it was that off, off the hook, you know, how it's just like, dirt, 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 dirt. it was just doing that. And so, I don't know, kind of makes me think that, you know, like if, if the line's disconnected or something, but wouldn't they have like, like it would be like, I'm sorry, but the number that you have dialed has been, you know, like wouldn't they have that recording or something? Like, I don't, I don't know. So it makes me wonder, hopefully they didn't go out of business, but at the same time, it's, I haven't been there in a long time. So it's, it's not like I'm someone that's keeping them in business. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm just another one of the people that never comes by and therefore they don't have enough business and then, you know, they don't have enough money and then they go out of business. So, I can't really talk like I've been supporting them <laughs> because I really, I don't go there all that much, you know? I'll go there maybe like twice a month. But the reason why Rock and Roll Pizza is, uh, is so special to me is because I've known the owner guy ever since uh, I started riding street bikes, you know? Like I met him and his daughter when I was in my MSF class. And uh, like one of the last days, like when we were like almost graduating out of the class, he's like, oh, by the way, guys, I just bought the place down off of, uh, you know, off Easy Street or whatever it is. And uh, I'm turning it into a pizza place, you know? So like when you guys get your licenses, you know, and like get your motorcycles or whatever, you'll have to like ride down there because like it used to be a biker hangout. It used to be Chewy's, which is like a biker joint. Yeah, so when I get there, I'll, uh, I'll look at my MSF card. I've got it in my wallet. I'll pull out my MSF card and I will see uh, what the date is on that and figure out how long I've been riding for and and let you know how long I've actually known the owner and his daughter for. The original guy, uh, whose name was also Dave, um, who owned the place or bought the place, whatever, who was in my class with me, he doesn't even own it anymore. You know, he hasn't in a while. He hasn't owned it in probably a year and a half. Let's check this out. Well, their sign is still up. sign is still there and their truck is still there. Wow, oh, looks like the freaking, check that out. Looks like the roof is gonna freaking fall down, dude. Oh, wow. This kind of moved around. Yeah, all the chairs are gone, all their alcohol's gone. They just all the decorations are still up. Yeah, so here's my card. 51913. So Yeah, so basically like the middle of the year 2013. And I remember it was about half a year until I got my license. So basically the beginning of 2014 is when I started riding. And now it's almost the beginning of 2018. So yeah, about about four years I've been riding for. Oh, I'm sorry to see it go. It was a fun place to ride out to. Alright, well. So 
so long, dude. Thanks for the pizza and the memories, you know?